These shows are so bad. Dancing with the Stars. Why is Bristol Palin on Dancing with the Stars? She's never been in anything. She's only had things inside her. She got fucked in some student parking lot. And now she's on Dancing with the Stars? What kind of message is this for our youth people? God, that pisses me off. She has the personality of a wet cabbage. Have you heard her interview? <laughs> Jay Leno's interviewing her. He's like, so tell us what it's like being on Dancing with the Stars. Bristol Palin's like, um, well, I was working at my job as a dental assistant and they were, they were call me and they were like, do you want to be on Dancing with the Stars? And I was like, okay. That's it, that's her. That's the star. All right. Talk about razzle dazzle. <laughs> Bristol Palin. And her mother and her dumb Alaska show also on the Learning Channel. Sarah Palin has said that she is planning on running for president in 2012 and Donald Trump is planning on running for president. They're gonna turn the presidency into a reality show. Tonight on the presidency, who will be eliminated, Iran or North Korea? Text 2457 to cast your vote. God. Seacrest out. And I know, I was a judge on a reality show, and by the way, when I was being interviewed about it, I had no idea what was happening. They make the rules on these shows so confusing. It's like, tonight the bottom two decide which six will join the final five. Great. Can't wait. My favorite reality show, I have to say, though, is American Idol, but at the beginning. Like when they go to all these small towns. Who are these people auditioning? I think I'm gonna be a next American Idol. In fact, I know I am. Uh, you have a lazy eye. Every girl who auditions. Hi, my name is Carnell and I'm from Hicksville High. But get ready, America, because I want to sing you a song. Oh, man, sing grace out. Sweet. <laughs> Whose idea was it for everybody to start singing like that? <laughs> and get your hand off of your ear before I kill you. <laughs> Remember in the 20s how people would sing? I've got plenty of nothing. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> At least that was charming. How are you going to make an idol from the type of person you're trying to avoid in real life? I'm afraid if America keeps letting people like that become the entertainers, pretty soon there'll be no one left to work at Rite Aid. <laughs> How'd they get rid of Paula Abdul? That was the best part about that show. She has been drunk since 98. They would cut to her. It was hilarious. She would just be spinning around, hallucinating. She had no idea what was happening. I mean, I know she's drunk and on pills, but remember Judy Garland? She would drink 29 scotches and then take the pills to sparkle. Remember, boys? Nobody knows how to be a drug addict anymore. Lindsay Lohan, she doesn't, they don't know what they're doing. Like, you're not supposed to just like, like be 22. And, Lindsay Lohan's dad just opened up his own drug rehab. His daughter is such an idiot that they're like, you know what, let's just do this at the house. 